Senator Bonner has been very, very attentive. Yes. And on two eyes. So, what is your supplementary question, Senator Bonner Karwal? Mr. Speaker, I'm lost. I'm lost because the minister has come to this house with a casual answer, describing stories of aircrafts, size of aircrafts and things and things, which has nothing to do, Mr. Speaker, with the question that I, I raised. This casual answer, Minister, you know, you and I, we enjoy leadership positions in this government. We can talk to each other here and talk to each other behind the tent and talk to each other in our private offices as we do. The purpose of this question, Minister, is for us now to bring it in the open to the public in Kakamega to know the progress of this project. The seriousness, Minister, is that 611,000 people voted for President William Ruto against 955,000 for Raila Odinga. There was work that was done. And now, when you treat us casually like this, you know that on 8th of December, 2022, the president came Senator to Kakamega. Senator Bonnie, can you be very specific on your question? Mr. Speaker, sir, because he was casual. You know the history of the voting uh, and uh, what happened? Yeah, I've left out history of voting. Specific your indulgence. What you need and need to be addressed. Mr. Speaker, your indulgence, please. If I don't do this, I'll lose this house, I'll lose the public. Mr. Speaker, on 8th of December 2022, the president came into Kakamega and launched this project, and alongside it, commercial aircrafts, which have been ongoing. He came again, Mr. Speaker, on 18th of June this year, and announced the construction of an apron at 50 million shillings, the minister knows. And lastly, Mr. Speaker, on 25th of August, the president stayed in the county for five days, and this was the project. So I was expecting the minister was coming here to tell us only two things. When is the payment of, for residents going to commence? Because from that time last year, they stopped doing end development. They know they are moving out. And two, to tell us when is the construction starting. That is called, <laughs> Mr. Speaker, Those Mr. Are Speaker, very sir. Pertinent questions, and uh, yeah. I think they are very indirect. Yes, Mr. Speaker. Yes. Mr. Speaker, I feel extremely offended that this is how we are treating the public that gives us the same money that we, we use to, wait to develop answer. projects. You wait for the answer, Senator Mboni, and then you can maybe react later on. Mr. Speaker, <laughs> uh, Mr. Speaker uh, of course, I have uh, maximum respect for <laughs> the Senator uh, Halwale, not just because we serve together in this chamber, but because he is at the top leadership of this administration. The Speaker, I have given the answer, and that is the answer. The answer being, Mr. Speaker, that first, we can't go beyond 1.4 kilometers. The international standards that are observed for establishment of an airport, Mr. Speaker, tells us that in terms of the approach to that runway, we can only accommodate 1.4 kilometers. And to do so, Mr. Speaker, we must acquire land. I spoke to Governor Barasa this morning uh, on the same issue, Mr. Speaker, because Senator Kalwale knows one thing, that in the said meeting, the county government offered to acquire the land. And Mr. Speaker, that is why there was a meeting between KA, KCA, and county government. The answer is very clear. It says, Mr. Speaker, that the acquisition of land can only be achieved under the law through the National Land Commission. Mr. Speaker, the answer is also very clear that to achieve an international standard, a different place must be sought to establish an international airport. An international airport, Mr. Speaker, cannot be built 
in the location where we have, and with the expansion that uh, is needed, it would require billions of money to even try to move people. Mr. Speaker, that is our government, Honorable Kalwale. That is the situation we found ourselves. It requires you are in the meeting. You are in the meeting, Mr. Speaker, and the answer of, uh, Mr. Speaker, 400, 400 million was required in the discussion in the meeting for purpose of, Mr. Speaker, uh, expanding. Uh, the county government said that to acquire that land, they need 400 million from KAA and the national government. The president made it clear that the support would be needed, uh, Mr. Speaker, for purpose of expanding that land from a partnership with county government. So, Mr. Speaker, the Honorable CS cannot come to the chambers and August House, a very respectable house, and give an answer that is outside the technical advice that comes with the specification of what an airport looks like, Mr. Speaker. But I appreciate the passion that with which Senator Kalwal is prosecuting this matter. It helps my ministry if it was possible that Parliament appropriate some money for purpose of that acquisition, if that passion also can be channeled to the National Assembly to look for the resources. But we know the, the, the circumstances under which we are operating on the Bokalwale that we must keep certain level of fiscal discipline because of the challenges we have as a government. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, thank you. Uh, now we go as per my directive. I want to open the next 30 minutes to the members, senators, to ask supplementary questions, especially on.